Hey guys, Mark here from Project Car, and today I'm going to show you how to remove your valves at home without any special tools. Now I've looked at valve spring compressors online and at some stores and they're about like $120. In our money that's about 1,700 Rand. So no way in hell. So what we're going to do is we're going to improvise using some plate, uh, two G clamps, I've only got one here, and this piece of pipe which I have marked out here to cut off and to cut this little profile out. So that will allow us to still get into the valve collets and we'll be able to compress this side. This side will sit against the valve, the valve head cover and we'll be able to move the collets out out of this part. We're going to leave a little bit of a gap over here so that we can actually still have these not wanting to split apart. Once you've marked out your profile to be cut, start by cutting slots in the negative space. This is one of the quickest and easiest ways to remove excess material without spending ages with the grinding disc. Once the slots are cut, you can then come in with a grinder to clean it up. This is what the finished section of pipe will look like. Clamp it onto the valve spring hat using your cheek clamp and support the other end of the clamp on the plate to protect your combustion chamber. Once the springs are compressed, pry out the collet using a screwdriver before slowly and carefully loosening the G-clamp. Place your springs and collets into marked containers and match them up to their respective valves. The valves can now be removed for inspection or replacement and kept one side. Reassembly is simply the reverse of this process. So, that's how you remove your valves at home without any special tools. However, if you're not completely comfortable making your own tools, I have since seen, you know, a cheaper version of what I've just done at my equivalent of Harbor Freight. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe because we're going to have more like this, more instructional videos, and more progress on the Adventure Van build. So, that's me, that's Mark from Project Car, out.